this week on Marvel's Chipotle. We're announcing new books coming in October, the scariest month of the year. Ryan's in the corner doing something. Tucker, I'm just checking email before we do the show. Oh, but what about your spam folder? Hello, Marvelites. You're watching Marvel's Pull List, and I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we read every single Marvel comic. We pick about four of them. We pick a topic. We tell you why you got to check them out. Tucker, what are we talking about today? Ding dong. We're going up to the front door of the Haunted House of Ideas. Welcome to our haunted house. Very good and very appropriate. We have selected four issues that uh, have different really fascinating angles on the horror genre. It's perfect time of year for it. And we're starting with a great one. This is Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one. They are back. It's really, really interesting how we dig into this zombie story because it's not the one you expect. We actually visit outer space. And this book becomes this amazing uh, amalgam of cosmic action with zombie action, and it goes from there. It's overwhelming, it's terrifying, it is disturbing at times. It's everything you want from a book like this at the perfect time of year. If this had a soundtrack, the first couple pages would be just a, a gentle thrum. Yeah. Thrum. Like a just really intense, yeah. like, wait, what is happening? And then you get into it and it's nightmare. It's really good, really, it's genuinely scary. Yeah. Great issue. Yeah. Also a great issue is Conan the Barbarian, number 10. This issue, of course, is part of the big epic that Jason Aaron, Mahmoud Asrar, Matt Wilson, and the team have been telling, the life and death of Conan. And now we start to see all the threads come together and they are blood red because we are seeing how the, the children, those, those little scary, Ooh, yeah, those disturbing children practically bathe in blood. They subside on blood. You see my character's head get lopped off, but they don't die. Sometimes the dead don't die and it's really nasty and there's monsters and, and elements that are coming up and down and around the ground and it's, ugh, it is creepy. Yeah, uh, as we've walked down the horror halls of the haunted house of ideas this Halloween. We visited the cosmic, we visited Conan, and now we're going over to the biological terror of contagion number five. Uh, this is the final issue of this limited series, which has been so fascinating uh, as this biological terror, disgusting threat has kind of taken over New York City. We get to see characters like Moon Knight, characters like Iron Fist, characters like The Thing go up against something that they kind of inherently can't fight. It has a very special, super unique angle on this kind of horror book. It's released the perfect time of year, of course. Uh, seeing how uh, this one wraps up is super, super fascinating fascinating. I would just say, I don't know, look out Yancey Street. Look out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, if you just take a little jaunt across town, you're already downtown. You just take a little nice little stroll. You'll make it to the Sanctum Sanctorum for Doctor Strange Annual Number One, where the main story in this issue is set. And it's really cool. This is set actually on Halloween as that's when the focal point of all the mystical energies and you know, magic, 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 all that good stuff happens. You get Doctor Strange and some of his best magical buddies doing some spells, having a good time, sitting in a circle, you know, doing whatever magicians do. Yeah. Uh, but it's really fun. Unfortunately, things go awry. Some spells are broken. Some snakes start talking and messing things up as they do. It is a lot of fun. It is a joyous Halloween story. It is told, you know, in a way that's like, yeah, Halloween's the greatest holiday to some people, and this is the feeling of that issue. There's also a backup story, which is straight up creepy, just nasty and weird and disturbing, and it has this ending that sticks with you. Yeah, uh, you, yeah it's, no. it's really cool. You're gonna have to read the issue to find out all about it. You can find out all about all the issues that are out this week when you listen to Marvel's Pull List, the podcast version. Get it wherever you get your audio, and then we'll be back with another episode next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tiger. And this is Marvel. Your universe.